Hey, good morning. Good morning. All right, I'm going to be looking this way, but I know I don't want to exclude people this way. But uh, let me read to you something this morning before we get going. Um, this is um, right out of the Word of God. Um, Psalm 34, Psalm 34, and I'm going to read to you a variety of verses. Um, hear, hear these words. I will praise the Lord no matter what happens. I will constantly speak of his glories and grace. I will boast of all his kindness to me. Let all who are discouraged take heart. Let us praise the Lord together and exalt his name. For I cried to him and he answered me. He freed me from all my fears. Others, too, were radiant in what he did for them. Theirs was no downcast look of rejection. This poor man cried to the Lord, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of his troubles. Sons and daughters, come and listen and let me teach you the importance of trusting and fearing the Lord. Do you want a long good life? Then watch your tongue. Keep your lips from lying. Turn from all sin and spend your time in doing good. Try to live in peace with everyone. Work hard at it. The Lord is close to those whose hearts are breaking. He rescues those who are humbly sorry for their sins. The good man does not escape all troubles. He has them too. But the Lord helps him in each and every one. Let's open up in a word of prayer. How many can relate to that scripture? Lord, uh, we give you this morning. We thank you that Easter is... Uh, not just celebrated once a year when you come out of the tomb, but is you are alive every day. Lord, um, we give you this morning, may we worship you in, in, in prayers and the reading of your word and, and in song. Lord, thank you that we have the opportunity to gather as followers of Jesus Christ, the one who saved us and changed us for eternity and for everyday life. In Jesus' name, amen.
feelings touch us as we worship in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So busy this weekend, I didn't do so healthy, okay? That's all right. <laughs>
Hey, that's not bad for being busy all week. No, it's good, right? I'm going to listen to the video every, every day this week. That was great. Thank you. Hey, a couple quick announcements. Yeah, a couple quick announcements. Um, Leanne has them here. Uh, water, water wells may be half, 50% close, round up. Um, I remember to keep thinking about them, praying for them. I haven't really had a lot of connection myself with them lately, but uh, we want to just emphasize what they do in helping um, people get out of human trafficking. That is like really serious stuff. Um, uh, Shania, Haiti, they're still getting money. They're eating, their school exists, but it is dangerous to go there. So I, I, I have connection through a friend of mine with Pastor Basil. It's, we just can't go, but uh, the church and the school still function under Mission Discovery, things are good. So they're getting food and they're learning where to God. Um, pick up is today for the food for the um, food bank over in Wheaton, that's where they take the food. And that's every third Sunday. Again, I've been talking a lot about Patty Lee. I'm um, gonna hang out with her sometime in the near future if you're interested in going, just to go out to lunch with her, pick her brain, so see how maybe we can help her a little more um, through uh, her ministry. Um, and then small groups, we're connecting. There's various ways you can connect. Wednesday mornings, um, Saturday mornings on Zoom, and then Thursday nights, um, the group uh, First John. Even though I canceled last week, but I was not there. I was 350 miles away. So um, we want to this morning just reaffirm, you know, that there are things to do beyond Sunday morning um, to get active, to get involved, uh, connect with people. And we're going to dismiss the, the kids right now. Then, um, oh, yes, thank you. Oh, um, the Easter lilies, I, where are they now? Oh, in the cafe? If you'd like to take one, I know they're not like ripe in a sense, but if you can what? Yeah, you can plant it yourself and take one. So, uh, there's like maybe eight or nine left. Yes. So if you didn't hear Pat, um, on the news there's some of the food pantries are a little lower than normal. And the food pantry we do work with, ministry with, is 20906, and they specifically mention 20906 where the the, 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 the the availability in the pantry is low. So uh, you can drop it off anytime during the week. You can drop it off in front of the church office. No one takes anything that we are aware of, and uh, we'll make sure it gets in and get it gets and it gets delivered. Um, we want to pray this morning, and um, one of the things we want to pray for is, uh, you know, we've been praying for Patty Dogo, who attended here all the time, but she fell yesterday, and I forget exactly how, and they took her to the hospital, and, and she's fine, but they put her back in rehab. So it's nonstop um, for uh, Patty in, in trying to get healthy, and uh, her leg was amputated, I think, roughly a year and a half ago. So she's had a, a hard go of it, and the only time I think I've seen her here is uh, for a couple funerals. But uh, we want to continue to pray for her. And um, her sister, Nancy, is not here today, as Nancy um, is with her a lot and trying to take care of her as well. But um, as uh, we, we approach, um, I was going to say another Easter Sunday, that was last week, but it is Easter Sunday every day because yeah. Jesus is alive. But let's just pray. I've gotten a lot of numerous prayer requests by text, and uh, let's just pray. Lord, uh, we thank you for the church. Lord, we, we thank you that we can sing songs together. And it's not just words, but it's the truth of the songs. That you would stir our hearts when we sing, when we look at your word, when we pray. That, Lord, you would give us the peace that passes all understanding. And that, that we would grab onto that. Then, Lord, we would know that you are holy, merciful, and graceful, and you are the definition of love. Lord, um, thank you today 
that the names on these lists are not just names, but you know these people. We pray for uh, a man named David, a friend of John Moody, who just found out he had prostate cancer. He's got a family and children. Lord, we, we lift this individual up. Lord, we, we lift up today Shannon, who's not here, who is continuing to get treatment for ovarian cancer. And for Will, who's with us today, who's not been feeling well. Lord, um, we, we pray for Angie Chan, who's been struggling with another kidney stone. For Kay Barrett's friend, uh, Verna. For Carol Brown, who can't be here like she used to be many years. For Nina, we continue to pray still uh, through a concussion that she had a year and a half ago. Our friend John Moody is healing still from uh, back surgery. And Lord, um, our very own healings this morning. Because I know, Lord, that um, we all have something we've been crying out to you about. And Lord, just, just guide us, hold our hands, help us get through it. And Lord, we're, we're thankful today that those announcements just aren't announcements, but they are extensions of ministry in your name to people that are hurting. And Lord, we, we pray pray today that, that you would stir hearts for food pantries. That um, while I may personally take something for granted, someone may really be struggling with how am I going to go to all these today? Am I going to be able to get certain things for my children? So Lord, you come to us and you change our destiny and you pay the penalty for any sin we've ever done. But you changed our hearts. So Lord, may what Leanne says a lot on emails, don't just go to church, be the church. Lord, would you just help us be the church? From the person we sit next to on the bus, to the cubicle, to the everyday events of our life. And we ask this in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Got a quick video for you, and um, we are, we, you know, we've been doing the third Sundays, and, and I want to continue it. I think it's great. I listen, I sneak in with microphones and I hear conversations and it's really good stuff. I want people to connect. I, um, John Siri, Abe, and Hazel have been doing them. We're going to do it again today even though it's not what it was the last time with numbers. But we're just going to do it. We'll figure it out as we move. John's usually back there. Abe's usually in the hallway. And Hazel's behind, back there. There she is. And um, we'll, we'll figure it out. If we have two, three, four people in one, each one, that's okay. And um, today's a little more exhaustive. It's not just a passage. It's just a variety of verses of who I am in Christ. I think that's really important that we know that. So uh, we're going to watch this video, and then they're going to go to their spots, and then I'm going to tell you where to go. No, I'm not. That's going to kind of direct you, because we want to continue this. It's really important we connect in a different way um, in the life of the church. Thank you. I want you to know that it doesn't matter what other people have called you. That it doesn't even matter what you've called yourself. There is only one who has the right and the authority to tell you who you are. I want you to know that other people are qualified to name you. And circumstances, they may have made things difficult for you, but they actually are powerful enough to define you. I want you to know that your history may have marked you, but it is not authorized to label you. I want you to know that what your mama called you or what your daddy did to you, it may have hurt you and it may actually take real emotional work and years to kind of come up out of the, the unhealth that it rooted into your life. I understand that. But I want you to know that it does not have the power to shape the totality of who it is that you've been called to be. Listen to me, you are not defined by your past. You are not defined by your behavior. You are not defined by your failures. You are not defined by your struggles. You are not defined by your feelings. You are not defined by your circumstances. You are not defined by the here today, going tomorrow, false ideologies and philosophies of our current culture. You are who God says you are. All right. So let's uh, like go into those groups and uh, we'll get going. These are for you, John.